Like, it's like out of shape. It wasn't even shape. It says out of shape. Well, we're going to, we're going to, yeah. Hey, pros. Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. Good morning, good morning, and good morning. So today we are in salon working, and my first client is here. So we're going to go ahead and get her started. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, you guys, just a reminder, this weekend is the final weekend of our customer appreciation sale. Everything is 50% off on our EliteHairCareUSA.com website as well as Crystal W online website. And um, our clip-ins and tape-ins are 15% off because they are not included in the 50% off sale. If you use code CLIPIN, you can actually get the 15% off the clip-ins and tape-ins and still use your 50% off your products. So you guys definitely check that out. All right, so for my first client, we're going to give her um, a cut and then we're gonna shampoo her and we are going to take her purple using a semi-permanent color because she is relaxed. So I'm gonna just bring you guys in a little bit so you can see better. Now her back grows like like weeds okay we never ever ever have an issue back here like this hair grows overnight in my opinion um, so we're gonna take it down and then we will shampoo her now my reason for taking it down now is because sometimes it's easier to cut the hair when it's dry um, versus when it's wet and then of course you're still gonna clean it up after you have completed you know your mold and all that good stuff but I'm just using this time to cut her down wherever needed. Hi, Crystal. Hey, good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm fine. Thank you. How are the kids and baby Cassine? He's doing well. They are doing well. Oh, good. I bet he's growing fast. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> and growing out of everything fast, I too. I bet. I parked back here. Is that okay? Yeah, anywhere in the front, on the side, or in the back, in it's the all back fine. Well. Yeah. Okay. The front is um dangerous, but yeah, you can park there if you ever need yeah. to. Okay. As long as you don't park in the um, other building over there. You're fine. There's a building across the street. The garage? Yeah, don't park over there. Uh, but you, the back here is right all of us. Here. Yeah, back here is all of us. So. Okay. I actually could have walked. I moved to the yard. Really? Right here. Um, so you just moved to close to the job. I, yeah, I do walk, walk to work most of the time. Really? Yeah. Did you do that strategically? Yeah, and I, I uh, sold my condo. And okay. I didn't gearing down for my retirement. I didn't want to be a homeowner no more. Um, a lot Some of people have said that. The cost of that, he let them fix it. I don't want to fix it. Don't call me. See, I thought I was the only person that felt this <laughs> way. <laughs> I thought I was. I'm like, man, I miss renting. I miss calling someone to tell them, hey, the AC's not working. And it's not helping me anymore. On my, it stopped helping me a while ago on my taxes. Oh, so, really? Which is why, you know, I used to buy, yeah, because there was nothing else. Really, there was nothing else to help me on my taxes. I wasn't in a household. I don't have my kids. But now, it, it, it doesn't even, there's no tax benefit to it. Oh, wow. Um, so, I just, I like my, I like my place. And like I said, I walk. My so, it's saving you a ton a of money lot. anyway. My car sits a lot. So, it's saving you a ton of money. Even though Between it's gas expensive. and maintenance. It's expensive because it's new, it's modern. Oh, got you. Um, you know, so I don't know how, I think I'm more breaking even. <laughs> hmm. I think I'm more breaking even. I don't think I really say, it's hard to save money in Orlando. It's just so expensive to live. Yeah, I don't a lot have of people are saying fee. that about um, Georgia now. Okay. Everybody was flocking there and now the rents are the same as here. Yeah. But they get paid just a little bit more. Yeah, it's expensive to live everywhere. So the, a lot of things I don't have to pay for anymore. Mm -hmm. The insurances and all that kind of stuff. But um, oh, that's skyrocketing. There's a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Definitely here. Even for my condo, 
and it was just like a little over a thousand square feet. I was paying $500 a year. And then the, the people that I had the policy with, they decided not to write any more policies in Oh, in Florida. Florida. They and always try to do that during the summer and then they come back in the winter. It jumped to $1,000 a year mm. for a thousand square feet. Because the, the outside of the condominium is in the master policy, which comes out of your condo fees. So, so you're really just like almost like a renter's, renter's policy. Insurance. Yeah, renter's insurance. Yeah, so I have renter's insurance now. It's like $150. A year? Yes. <laughs> wow. Yes, yeah. And I may I may have a little more square feet than what I had in my condo, actually. Oh, wow. It's still two-bedroom, two-bath. Two it was. Two-bedroom, two-bath. Yeah, that's happening everywhere. I like the new place. Thank you. It's so close to your job. It, yeah, like I said, you're like a block away. If it wasn't for the fact that I had a lot of errands to run afterwards, I probably would have just walked up. This is a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. At least you got you can see more activity and stuff. Um, I mean, yeah. to be honest, I don't even. You don't look. No, because mm -hmm. it's a it's a part of the street where people they don't have a reason to stop right here mm -hmm. unless there's traffic. Mm -hmm. yeah, and you know, I'm not a I'm not a walk in person anyway. Mm -hmm. So when I see people walking towards the door, I'm like, mm -hmm. so it works for me. I actually used to work over here in the salon two doors down. Oh, okay. A couple of years ago, before I opened my own salon, so I already knew the area. It just, it just kind of worked out. So you book for a silk press? You could you straighten your hair out or something? Yeah, I do the. It's the worst. It's a deep conditioner. I need to trim in okay. a bad way, and I thought, let's, let's straighten it. Yeah. Got it. So we can accomplish two goals. I can change the style up a little bit and I can get a trim because I'm trying to grow it out. Okay. All right. So we're going to go to the shampoo bowl now. Come with me. I'm going to take you guys with me to the shampoo bowl. Okay. No, you stay here. I was, I'm talking to live. Oh, okay. Good morning. Okay, so there's 193 people on this live. There's 193 people on the live, but I only see 29 thumbs up, and I'm not sure how that's possible. So I need everybody to close your chat, and please go and hit that thumbs up button for me. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. You can hit it. Okay, hit it, hit it, hit it. Thank you. We need to get to at least 100 thumbs up. That's the minimum. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and shampoo her. Um, we did her her haircut for the most part. I probably just have a little bit of cleaning up that I have to do um, when I'm done molding her and all that and she's dry. Oh, thank you guys, I appreciate it. Yeah, today I said I'll put lashes on and actually put some foundation on my face. So I put a little bit of primer and my lashes and then that was it I didn't really do anything else nothing more and I think that that's all I need to do from here on so I'm trying to see if my oiliness has gone away because that was what I was dealing with when I was pregnant with Kasim a lot of oiliness so we'll see how long this lasts with this primer that I used all right mama come on back for me All right, so she is fully relaxed. She also has a shortcut. Um, so we're gonna actually, she's fine textured as well. So we're gonna actually use the B7 collection on her today. Uh, we're also gonna use the Soothe and Balance. Well, no, are you itchy, Myra? Are you okay? Okay, so we're not gonna use Soothe and Balance. We're gonna use the Elite Clarify on her, which is our clarifying shampoo. 
Now, because I am doing a semi-permanent color, I'm still going to do her wash day first. Had I been doing a permanent color, I would have done the color first. But I don't like to do permanent colors on my clients unless they are um, getting like a lighter color or something. Why we even did that to you? Didn't we do highlights or something at one point too? Yeah, we did everything. We've done everything. I don't think there's anything left. I got to just go get some more colors for you. <laughs> I'm running out of colors. What do you want? Whatever you say. <laughs> they have so many beautiful colors in that collection though. Mm. I love their colors. And they, they're vibrant. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to kind of partially dry your hair and apply it because mm -hmm. it, it, it gets even more vibrant when the hair is dry. Oh, okay. So that was the Elite Clarify that I just used to shampoo her for her first shampoo. Thank you guys. Yeah, I don't I don't do a lot. The only thing that I do different if I'm going out is I put eyeliner on. That is the only thing that I add to my makeup and I do my eyebrows. But all that contouring and stuff, I don't understand it 100%. Now, I, I can contour my nose, but if I'm just coming to work, I'm not doing all that. Okay, so we're going to use our B7 shampoo. Give her a really good shampoo. Get that, that blood flowing. You said move the camera down a little bit? Sure. How's that? Is that good, you guys? Myra, you've been on here so many times. They're like, hi, Myra. Oh, hey. <laughs> Myra and Nicole on my camera all the time. You've gone through so many different phases between Myra and Nicole. <laughs> all right, let's get a towel so we can towel dry her. here okay you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and get her color prepared so I'm gonna be using color intensity this is um indigo it's a beautiful color love 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 the color intensity colors I have to go there and re-up and get a ton more colors and then what I'm also going to do because I know that I'm going to be leaving the color on her for a period of time, I'm going to add a couple drops of the Super Growth Serum. I did about 10 drops, okay? So this is going to be on her hair anyway. No, it's not gonna hinder the color at all. This is just gonna be a way for us to introduce the serum to her hair and her scalp all at the same time with the color. So while she's processing with her color, which is a semi-permanent color, she's also getting the benefits of the Super Growth Serum. You just wanna make sure I mix it really well. And like I said, that does nothing to your color, you guys. So you don't have to worry about it messing with your color. I love your hairstyle. My granddaughter is biracial and has beautiful red hair. And its texture is more like Afro style. She hates us to brush it out or braid it. Um, but you're going to have to get her used to that. So even though she might hate it, you got to let her get used to it. I do that with Kasim every week. 
he gets his hair done every week. We spend several hours trying to do 20 comb twists, but he's gonna get used to it. Because we chose to allow him to keep his hair. Christian was the same way. Now Christian is more like, okay, because he knows that it's going to happen no matter which way he likes it or not. All right, so to um, put her color on, I'm going to use the blow dryer and just kind of air dry her a little bit. Um, the hair doesn't need to be 100% dry, but because I want this color to be very vibrant and it adheres to the hair through a negative and positive charge, Drying the hair actually creates that negative or positive charge so that they can bind together better. So that's why I'm just going through and just kind of drying her. I like to do this when I'm doing fashion colors because you need the vibrancy from fashion colors. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves on. I use a semi-permanent for my gray hair, but after a few months, my gray hair is green. What can I do to correct the problem? So whatever color you're using, the base of that color is more than likely ash, which typically most browns and blacks are made with a base of ash. Ash in hair color is green. Sometimes they are made with a base of blue. Tim, chin back from the moment. And actually, I'm going to put a little bit of base on my refers. Now, for my base, when I'm doing colors, I use actually our Elite Control Edge Control um, because it's a gel-like substance. So the color won't actually move it. And it, it gives me a really good base so that the color doesn't penetrate and actually get on her skin. So I like to put it in the areas where I know she has her follicles that kind of overlap there. And I used to not do that and then always, she'd always walk out of here with a shadow on her <laughs> But I'm gonna do it today. It's just, it's like really sticky, it's gelatinous. So it's a really good base. Anyway, um, whenever you are dealing with browns and blacks, um, because they have that base of ash or green, as I said before, um, you want to add a little drop of red in there because red cancels green. So that is going to help to eliminate that green base that is under the color or under that black or brown. So that's the way you fix that. Whenever you do your color, if you're going to use that same brand or same color, go ahead and add a drop or two of red to your semi-permanent mix. I just gave you color correction for the free 99. Enjoy. Now, the reason a lot of stylists don't also like to dry the hair when they're doing semi-permanence is because you use a ton of color because the hair is dry. So you don't have that water molecule to help you spread the color out. You're basically saturating the hair from dry to wet using hair color. So you do use a lot, but for vibrant colors, it's worth it. Like if I'm doing like a black or a brown, I don't really worry about it too much. And then sometimes stylists don't want to take that extra step.
add some more color here. Hey, Star. Just a reminder, you guys, next Sunday at 6 p.m. is our Type 4 Hair Care Masterclass. So if you haven't already registered or if you haven't become an Elite Pro Plus member on our Patreon where you get access for free, definitely go and register. So what I'm doing is just combing through her hair just to make sure that every piece is covered. Have we done this purple before, Crystal? I don't think so. Because so. this one is indigo. Okay. It's like a purple blue. Okay. I think we've done the, the other purple. They have another purple that we have done. Okay. Where it was like purple. This is, when I just looked at it, it's indigo. Okay. So it's like a violet, violet blue purple looking. I think it's going to be pretty. Mm -hmm. I'm making sure I'm covering every square inch of this purple. I know. Myra lets me do whatever. She's like, just pick one. It's fine. I don't care. She's actually my fun client. She lets me just do whatever kind of colors. We've done highlights. We were just talking about it. We've done highlights. We've done it all. All right, mama. Let's get over here. Okay. Alexa, set timer for 25 minutes. Ready, mama? 25 minutes. Starting now. Sometimes just to change up the shampoo, sometimes I'll use this. That are you itchy when you use that? It just it feels good. Okay. Like, I mean you don't want to use it too much. Let me cover you first. You don't want to use it too uh, much though. Okay. Because it can dehydrate the hair. Okay. It's really made for like dry, itchy scalps and then you have to back it up with moisture. Uh, so if I use it, use it first and then use the B seven mm -hmm. afterwards. Mm -hmm. And then um I had forgot to bring that. I have that as like a balm. It's the, the, oh, the black one. Uh -huh. the, That's for your no, scalp. It's um, edge control. Orange. It's in the. It's in that line. It's got the gold thing. It's in that line, but it's a balm, and it's. Uh, I use it, and it's just. It says on there, a little goes a long way. So that's this. 
Oh, it has a gold label. Yeah. Yeah, that's the frisk. That was frisk tamer. Okay. And then I have these two. Okay. This one, I just put on the scalp like once a day, but I was wondering, should I be using that when I get under the dryer with my conditioner? You can add like a drop or two to the conditioner. Oh, okay. Mix it together. Uh huh. And then you put it on. Okay. You can also use this as just a hot oil treatment, which that's a conditioner. Where you take this, like you take one part this to one part coconut oil or whatever carrier oil you want to use. Uh huh. Mix it together while the hair is dry. You apply it to the scalp and you wrap your hair with a warm towel and then go under the dryer. Okay. And that's called a hot oil treatment. So, how often do you think? Hot oil treatments is just, it's just like when you're doing a wash day, you just pick one of your wash days and do one. And do a regular conditioner or a hot oil treatment? The hot oil treatment would be your conditioner. conditioner. Okay. And then I haven't used this yet. I bought it because it's on sale, but. So you can use this. This one is water-based. This one is oil-based. This one you can use daily as well. Oil and water don't mix. So if you're gonna use this one, then I wait, finish this out, and then start this one. Okay. If you wanna do it the opposite way, you can use this one and you can apply it anywhere on the hair or the scalp if you're in your natural state. So you don't have to worry about reversion. Oh, okay. Right. And then you'll use that. You can use it anywhere on the hairline. You can use either one of them, but the oil, of course, oil is oil. Mm -hmm. The water base, you can use that every single day and it absorbs within seconds. Mm -hmm. So the, the follicle sucks it in. Whereas oils, they sit on top. Okay. All right. So I'll start using this. I'll start putting some in my conditioner okay. before I go under the dryer. But yeah, know, this one, is good to do with the conditioner, definitely. You can use you just together. Like, that's why I haven't started using this. But I, you can use this daily, too, if you want. Yeah, to. this one is daily as well. But if you know you're going to be using it in the conditioner, then I just use it for that. that? And okay. the hot oil treatment. And then you use this daily. Great. So okay. you get both. You get okay. what I mean? Okay. All right. That sounds good. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so we're doing the silk press oh, deep yes. condition. Yeah, you can pick out a little bit of a style. Are you doing any color? I don't do, no. Okay. I don't want too much. I mean, my hair is, I just want to grow it out and okay. keep it healthy. But I thought maybe something like with coming to the front and the sides, maybe we could do. Okay, when we get to that point, because I, I have to see what your hair looks like when okay. I straighten it to see what is where. It won't be, I won't have this much, but mm -hmm. I kind of like the idea of it coming to okay. the sides. Okay, cool. Well, let's go to the Maybe shampoo bowl. Maybe cover up my thin and on the top. When I silk you at that point, we can have a roadmap for me to say, okay, we can do this way, do that way. Looking at it when it's in its natural state. It's hard. It's hard, yeah, because we want to see what length you have too. Okay. All right, so we're going to go over to the shampoo bowl. Okay. Crystal, do you have products for alopecia? Yes, our Goddess Hair Repair Serum, our B7 Serum, our Super Growth Serum. All of those work for alopecia. Um, our Hair Repair and Growth Line, our B7 Collection, those are all specific to help with um, alopecia as well. You have oil in your hair now? It's that bomb. I can feel that it. Bomb stuff. Yeah, I can feel it. Okay, so with that being said, I'm actually glad you did it because people do this all the time, right? Mm -hmm. So before we go to shampoo her, because I know that I'm going to be doing a silk press on her, I need her hair to be dry and fluffy. When you have oil in your hair, it will never be dry and fluffy if I go and I just drop the water on your hair. Okay. Tell me why. <laughs> Why do you think? Well, slide down a little bit. <laughs> because the the water almost acts like an insulator, a barrier to keep it from getting to the hair. So what happens? That's why with I bought oil. the clarifier. What happens with oil and water? Well, oil and water don't mix. There you go. They Here's don't your mix, response. So they won't move it. The nope. water won't move it. Nope. It won't mix. It will actually do what? Lock it in. Lock it in. Because the water is on top now. So now you have mm -hmm. a water molecule and the oil on top underneath. Of the oil. And now you've locked it in. Mm -hmm. Now, how do we get that out? Um, I bought the clarifying shampoo. You can use the clarifying shampoo, absolutely. You can use any shampoo, to be honest. Okay. When you're trying to get the oil off the hair. It's not mm -hmm. extracting it from the scalp, from whatever you needed it to do, but you need it off the, the hair. hair. So, how we do that, you can take any one of our shampoos, any cheap shampoo, it could be Dollar Tree, I don't care. And just do it dry. And you put it on the hair when it's dry. The reason why I said I would probably do a really cheap shampoo is because it serves no purpose 
other than to extract that layer of oil off before you start your actual wash day. So you're gonna use a lot more because you're dry, right? Mm -hmm. Would I use my expensive B7 shampoo to extract oil? Mm -mm. I will not. So you wanna use the cheapest shampoo you can find. This is not going to affect your hair care in any way, shape, or form. The goal of this is to only extract that oil off the hair. I wish I'd have brought that bone stuff uh, and showed it to you, because. I think you're, you're talking you, about the frizz control. Okay, I might be. I just, it was one of those things where I just, you know, sometimes I buy different products from your site just to try them and see like, well, the yeah. only other oil based out, if you bought it at the time, we had Frizz Tamer. That has the gold label on it. Okay. And it's a white bottle. Yeah. That's what I was thinking you have. Yeah. All right, you guys. So now that I've put the shampoo on her hair, I'm going to go ahead and take my water. And I'm going to turn the water to cool. Why do I turn it to cool? Why do I want to use cool water at this point? Oh, no. If you have coconut oil, what happens to raw coconut oil? when you let it get cold oh it turns to a solid it solidifies it right yeah. mm -hmm. it turns so to a solid. if i put cold water on your hair over oils that possibly can solidify what's going to happen it's going to help them to extract better okay so cold water extracts oil warm water does what if you warm oil what does it uh, do? make it just kind of go More runny go in. yeah right so use cold water because but it, it moves it out. Yeah. So it's not the most comfortable, but it is the easiest way to extract oil from that dry shampoo. So for example, it's kind of like, this is a, a food example, but you mm -hmm. know, like when you cook bacon in a pan and the grease is in there, and it gets if hard. it gets cold, you right. can get a paper towel and get it out easy. Right. So that's it's the same principle. If it's kind hot, of. it's never going to be it's able never, to come Yeah, out. You, it ain't never going to feel like it's all gone. There you go. There you go. So now I can move into my shampoo phase, which is now I'm going to give her a Clarify, and then I'm going to give her a B7 shampoo, and then we go on to our conditioner because I've started with a clean, a clean canvas now. So it's almost like we just started your wash day. Because I needed to get the oil out. Where people always make the mistake is when you have all that oil in your hair, the first thing you run to is put water on the hair and saturate it so you can shampoo it. You just locked all that oil in there. And then if you go to soap press that, it starts smelling like you're cooking food. I never really thought of that balm stuff as oil, but I guess it Silicones is Silicones are oils too. Cause I had my I had my hair like just braided, parted, and and like twisted, mm -hmm. and I just took some of that and just put it on there. And I didn't think of it as oil. Well, it's not an oil, but it's a silicone. Silicones act the same way as oil. Okay, they seal. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so do oils. It's like a coating that you can't penetrate. You know, so that explains why I, sometimes in the morning before I go to work, I just saturate my hair with cold water. Mm -hmm. And it just looks so, it has like a shine to it. it cold water does good. that, yeah. Cold water has a lot more benefit. But it's actually sealing in the stuff that's on there. Mm -hmm. It applies to any hair, relaxed or natural hair. It doesn't matter. Same thing. So what I'm going to do, guys, is cocktail the B7 with some Mended shampoo. Mended is the split in and frizz control shampoo. And then of course, B7 is for volumizing and strength. So I'm cocktailing both of those and putting them on for her final shampoo. When I'm finished with the B7 line, should I try a different line or stay with B7? Like well, that no, smell honestly, I would some... probably say you get both lines and you can go back, back and forth. And forth. Now. It's not to finish one out. You're yours right now working on one problem. What about the uh, snail, the one with the snail mucin? If you wear your hair and it's curls all the time uh -huh. and you like it to feel highly moisturized or hydrated, then yes, you can use it. Okay. You're not per se low porosity. Um, I kind of feel like you're like a medium to high, but 
because so I, you wear your hair in its natural state with curls, yeah, that would probably benefit better. I did that test, and it took the hair a long time to float to the bottom of the yeah, because glass. that means that you're medium to to low porosity. But your texture would make it where I would treat it more high porosity because it absorbs everything and then it dissipates. Oh, okay. All right, so this was our final shampoo. What do you use for the deep conditioner? It just depends. Like today, I'm going to mix the Moist Repair and B7. Okay. I wouldn't put a mask on because the it's mask is going to be too heavy for me to press you. Remember I was saying that your hair absorbs really quickly? Mm -hmm. So if I go and put a mask on there after I just extracted all that oil, mm -hmm. and there's still going to be some residual oil. You'll never get it all out. I'm just making the hair even heavier again. Mm -hmm. Sit up for yeah, it. I stopped using the mask. It's too so heavy anymore. I just get under the dryer. Yeah, it's too heavy. All right, you guys. So we are going to um, apply her conditioner. Now, for the conditioner, I'm going to use some moist repair conditioner. Okay, I gotta replace this one now. Some moist repair conditioner, and then some B7 conditioner. And I'm gonna mix these two together, okay? Before I apply it to the hair. And you wanna just make sure that you get all of the free hair. Now because she's short, we're not gonna rope twist her, but we are still gonna go through and just lightly detangle. Remember her going under the dryer, it still can possibly tangle, but you know, doing it now is gonna definitely help to eliminate excessive tangling. All right, so now we're gonna take a processing cap. And put that on, you can go to the dryer, mama. And then she's gonna go under the dryer for 15 minutes. White people really don't grease or hot oil that much. Lola treated me no difference, so I do what I was taught. Crystal, do you recommend leave-in conditioners? Yes. All of our products have leave-in conditioners. All of our collections have a leave-in conditioner. When will I get order from Monday when it ships? Come on now. <laughs> like you you asking me this on the live <laughs> when when it ships? I don't I can't tell you. I don't, I don't ship. Now right now we are on about 3 to 5 business days, but come on now. It's Saturday. It's Saturday. And it's a sale. So just bear with us. I'm being funny, but patience, please. And thank you. We really appreciate it. We promise that all orders are going out, though. I promise you that. Thank you, Crystal. Are your products in the stores? Hopefully by the end of this year. Let's pray about it. Hallelujah. Thank you. I would love to be in retail stores, but I had a lot of things that I needed to make sure were in order first. Like making sure that I could actually fulfill the needs of my website first. If I cannot keep stock in on the website, how am I going to handle stock in the store? 
you have to be realistic with yourself and just know when there's things that you have to fix first so we have gotten that kind of under control now with the stock um, just understanding you know raw materials and I'm now ordering a lot of raw materials in drums rather than in, in baby pounds so I'll give you guys an example we sell a ton of goddess polish a ton um, the silicone or the polymers that is used to make the goddess polish was costing us about $22 a pound. It's a lot. That's a lot. And when you're buying them third party in five gallon buckets, let's do the math here. One five gallon bucket is 640 ounces. So you really need to account for 600 ounces because you wanna account for about 40 ounces of waste if you're going to be using that five gallon bucket. Really they say about 20% is waste. But let's, let's go off the 600 number. Now I'm teaching y'all business, so watch me. 640 ounces is five gallons. One gallon is 128 ounces. Some companies, one gallon is 120 ounces. So be mindful that if you are buying a product in pound and they say, oh, we're selling you a five gallon bucket, make sure that that five gallons is 640 ounces and not 600 ounces. Okay. Some people will say they sell it at, they sell one gallon at 7.5 pounds when actually one gallon is eight pounds, but that company's gallon is 7.5 because they're profiting off of the other 0.5 that they're missing from you. Neither here nor there. Keep going. So if I have 600 ounces of polymer, whatever polymer I choose, okay, that 600 ounces cost me $22 a pound. So 600 divided by 16, that gives me 37.5 pounds times $22. That is $825 for a five gallon bucket, including 40 ounces of waste. Okay. Now 600 ounces of a polymer. If the goddess polish is a four ounce bottle, we're going to divide that 825 by four. Well, sorry, 600 by four. That gives us 150 bottles, 150. So 875 divided by 150 makes that bottle of goddess polish cost us $5 and 83 cents. That is just raw material. That's not including the label. That's not including that shiny gray sprayer. If it's shiny, it costs more than if it's matte. That's not including the bottle. The bottle can be about 33 cents because you're buying it third party as a smaller company. The top can run about 40 cents because it's shiny silver rather than matte finish. They call it glossy. So right now we're at 73 cents. The label can cost you anywhere between five cents if you decide to wait and get it through China. But if you cannot wait and decide to go to Avery, that label will cost you about 21 cents. So we're gonna say 21 cents because we're in a hurry. So 73 cents plus 21 cents, that is 94 extra cents. So to 583, we're gonna add 94 cents. We're at $6.77 a bottle. We have not included production costs. Production costs is the person who has to mix this, the person who has to bottle this, the amount of time it takes this person to bottle this, and the amount of power and utilities that you are using to bottle this, right? So we're not gonna use the power and utilities because that's a price that we pay no matter what, and we will never be able to break that down to the decimal because we are doing multiple things. So we'll extract that. The person that's doing this, you might pay them $15 an hour. If you know that making this product and bottling 600 bottles of this takes you about three hours because they also have to cap this, you now have to add on that $45 to your main cost. All right. So right now we're at $6.77. So we're gonna take that $45 and we're gonna divide that by 600. We're gonna add another eight cents to this price. So we're at somewhere around seven something. 
Well, if you are a retail company and you are trying to build and profit so that you can pay bills and pay staff, pay yourself and still be able to buy your raw material and still actually turn a profit at the end of the year. If I'm already at almost between seven and eight dollars because my raw material is where the, it's bringing in this large cost, you have to figure out how to get this cost down. It hurts a lot to be able to have to sit there and see what you're paying to make a product. Does it hurt? It does. Thank you, Star. Thank you for the $19.99. Thank you. I was giving it to you for the free $99. But of course, the $19.99 is always thankful. I'm thankful. Now, if I know that my raw material cost me $5.83, that's high. Okay, if I plan on going into a retail store and retail stores are profit sharing, Target, Walmart, all these stores, you profit share. They have the win while you have the expense and you have the worry, you have the cost. You know why? Because guess what? They can say, well, hey, Crystal, we want to put you in 20 stores to start. We want to see how this goes. But those 20 stores, we need a minimum of about 60,000 products to fill these 20 stores. Okay, 60,000 pieces of a goddess polish. That's one product. All right, you need 60,000. If it costs me $5.83, and because I know it's going into a retail store, I will use Target. Target's sweet spot is $15.99 or less, but this is a four ounce product. That's for a shampoo. So for that hair gloss, they probably won't pay, sell it more than $9.99. How on earth do you think that they are going to take that product and put it in their store if I'm profit sharing automatically, let's say they take 40%, I'm already into my cost. So I cannot afford to profit share because their profit sharing comes off the whole number, not, oh, how much does it cost you to make it? They don't care. They have not a care in the, in the world. They don't care if it costs you $12 to make it and you're giving it to them at 13 because that's the price that they want. They're gonna say, hey, so off of that $13, because you know, we, we profit share. So 13 minus 40%, that's $5 and 20 cents that they're taking. And you're making $7 and 80 cents. Well, how much did it cost me to make it? $7 and 42 cents. So let's subtract that. I just made 38 cents. Yeah, stupid. So am I ready to go into retail all the time? People think that they are so ready to go into retail. Your feelings will get hurt in these meetings. I didn't even make it to the meeting with the store. I made it to the meeting with the company that's going to shop me to, to the store. And they were like, Crystal, your prices are too high. You will never turn a profit, number one. Number two, you are not manufacturing in the quantities that you will ever be able to keep up you can't even keep up and small quantities and it hurt to be told that it hurt me because this was told to me about two years ago and i have never looked back i've never gone back to them because it took me two years to be able to get here alexa stop Mari, you can go to the shampoo okay so now we're gonna jump into how we get this cost down you have to now buy like the big dogs you have to get your cost down by buying like the big dogs. And buying like the big dogs means I can't buy a five-gallon bucket anymore. I now have to buy 441 pounds or more for them to drop this price from $22 because I'm no longer going through a third party. I'm going to their wholesaler. So now I go to their wholesaler and their wholesaler says, oh, okay, well, it's only $5 a pound. Okay, so let's do the math here. If I'm buying 441 pounds times what I've been paying normally, $22, I just spent $9,700 on 441 pounds, AKA 55 gallons of product. But I cut the middleman out and I say, you know what? I know I gotta get 441 pounds and I know it might take me a little bit of time to keep it. Let me go over here and, and bite the bullet. Hold on. Um, Morgan, if I'm rude, get your ass off my life. Come on now. That's all you got to do is go. We, we're learning over here. All right. 
So if I say, okay, let me go to the third party and I know I got to buy 441 pounds rather than 37, let's go ahead and do the math here. 441 times $5, it now costs me $2,200 for this raw material rather than $9,700 for this raw material, even though now I have to stock 55 gallons of this to sit here for me to use it periodically when I need to. Okay, okay, so let's do the math. 441 pounds times 16, because I need to go shampoo her. That's 7,056 ounces. Divide that by four. That's going to give us 1,764 bottles. 1,764 bottles. It cost me $2,200. So 2,200 divided by 1,764, it now costs me $1.25 in raw material wow. plus my 97 cents for product <clears throat> i'm now at two dollars and 22 cents a bottle but i had to be able to bite the bullet and spend this 2200 dollars first now i'm only saying that with one product i have over 40 SKUs, and over 40 SKUs, each product has a minimum of five or more raw materials so could you imagine could you imagine doing this over and over and over again for 40 different products and some might overlap. It hurts to grow, but when you grow and you understand it and you figure it out, you stop complaining about it and you just do it. So now I'm able to say, okay, I can go into Target now and sell this product to you. And yes, we can profit share at $13 because I know you're gonna take $5 and 20 cents that's going to leave me with $7.80 minus that $2.20 that it cost me. I'm now at what? Four, no, $5.20. Did I say that right? $5.10, excuse me. $5.10. That's my profit. So they get $5.20, I get $5.10 plus my cost that it cost me to make my product. That's how you win in retail. But if your price is anything over $3, you will never win in retail. And it also depends on the type of product that it is. So I hope y'all just learned. The I just gave y'all a whole business. I learned. For the free 99. Okay. I learned. It's about volume. Volume is it. Yeah. There you go. It hurts to grow, but when you grow, you grow. Okay? So it, it, it definitely hurts. It, it hurts a lot. <laughs> but when you understand it i used to be one and i'm still kind of like that i worry about what it costs me now when i should be worrying about what it's going to make me rather than what it's going to cost me if it's not going to make me a markup of 100 percent or more it makes no sense because i have to be able to stand on this price and if i take it to retail they're going to base it off of that number that i'm starting with not what i say it costs me okay mama hold on let me pull this up Come on back for me. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and rinse Myra. I'm using cool water because she has this color. And remember, we put the Elite Control on her hairline to make sure that we had no staining, which we don't. Told y'all, Elite Control. It's an edge control, but it serves multiple purposes. She has no staining whatsoever. Hmm? Sure. Oh, I forgot I had my AirPod in. <laughs> hold on. Let me dry it. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I think they're waterproof for a second. <laughs> we find I've washed my phone in the washer. It was waterproof. <laughs> I dried it, but it should be okay. It didn't go in there for that long. Because I think they make them sweat proof, so. Yeah, it's fine. Come back for me.
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just apply a little bit of B7 conditioner to her hair. I'm gonna rehydrate the hair. you guys let's go and mold her yes that was a lesson I paid somebody three thousand dollars to learn that lesson that I just gave to you guys for the free 99 so enjoy Sometimes you got to do that. So when you guys see elite hair care products in the retail store, remember Crystal taught me. Let me go get this product because she needs to make this profit. All right, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and mold her. You're welcome. you have a YouTube introducing, do you have YouTube video introducing products? Every video I do talks about my products. All right, you guys, I'm gonna rinse my client real quick. I'll be right back.
But a lot of it too is what you were saying about volume. Yeah, it takes money to, to make And they have the money. Volume. We don't always they have that. Have it. Yep. They have the billions to do it, yep. and they have the resources that will see them as an asset and yep. let them come in there for 10% profit. Mm -hmm. And some of those sisters, they've been grinding for a while, and I could imagine they just said, fine, just... You can have it. Yeah. I'll do it again. <laughs> yep, right. that's what happens. All right, you guys, we're going to spray her with a little bit of mended leave-in conditioner. And then I'm also gonna spray her with a little of our heat protectant spray. And we're just gonna rub that in. Is that new or did you have this stand at the old? Oh, no, this is new. It's new, new, new. The green bottles though, you had those, right? Weren't they at the top? Yeah, I've always had the decor stick. All right, you guys, because I know that I'm going to be pressing her, I'm going to do a little bit of the work now by using some of the Elite Control. And I'm going to mold her because her hair is short. Now, is this mold going to be amazing? No, but it's going to help to get her hair flatter now so that i don't have to go through and do a ton of heat to make this happen but you got to be quick with this because she's still very rough so curly now do, do i need her to look like she has a shortcut type mold no this is really just so we don't have to use a ton of heat when it comes time for me to Silk her. I wanted to see if that would help me. It didn't. February is a good time to have a silk press because, you know, the humidity is bad in Orlando. In January, it's supposed to be better. cold uh, next week. January is actually better because it's cold and still not humid. February starts to get like cold warm. You know, February we only get a couple of days of cold. Yeah, that's true. It ain't February yet, is it? Mm -mm. January is really right at the end of January is where our cold comes in. The last time I got it, it was uh, February because it's always like my birthday. And mm -hmm. uh, it was, uh, it lasted a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't like those um, things. So, uh, you know, I have these little mm -hmm. uh, Vienna and ball spots, mm -hmm. and so you sprinkle those little black things on. Oh, the um, keratin fibers. Yeah, I don't like them. I don't like them. I just rather have a ball spot. That's the first. I don't like that. It, it aggravated my scalp. Oh, you have an allergy too. Earlier, my hands kept being up there. I was like, I, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like it. You probably have an allergy to it. I saw a video when the girls was going to a dance. 
Yeah, yeah. Was, was that the ball dance? That was homecoming, yeah. Yeah, they look so cute. Thank you. You can tell their little personalities by uh -huh. the styles they pick and everything. Alex is my subtle child. <laughs> He's such a good mom. Thank you. I appreciate sure they are. These children are blessed. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I didn't chaperone homecoming this year. I used to chaperone homecoming. Your school, you got, do you, is your school like that where they have to approve their outfit? No, but it, no, like they can't, no, they can't bring nobody from outside the school, though. Well, they have to approve whoever the person yeah. is, too. They make you, like, for you have to tell them. They can't bring nobody from as juniors and seniors, so they can get approval. But for homecoming, you just, there ain't no approval it's process. Time. It's just no. Okay. But they, not yet, they ain't got to that. Yeah, why don't you tell them? They make you, you have to send, there's a platform where you have to send them a picture. Oh my of your outfit, of your dress, with you having it on, because you can't have it like plunge back and all that. Well, stuff. I can see. <laughs> they don't play. I can see. And they will send you home. I, I sent home a couple people. I can see us doing that. <laughs> I really These kids can. Kids are different. They're yeah. always trying to make a way. <laughs> Shoulder bob. Yes. Okay. You want to keep your jacket on or you want to take it off? Oh. Actually, I'm happy to take this out for me because it's a little in there. So she is getting a bob, you guys. So I'm more than likely going to cut her down now while her hair is already somewhat straight. And this is not the full cut. This is just because I know she's cutting it anyway. But she's bringing it to her shoulders. Oh, I'm sorry, Mama. All right, head back from it. Are you doing the middle part? Yes. All right, you guys. So I'm going to give her a preliminary cut. Trigger warning for some of you who are just so against the haircut. I don't know, people weird. It's not your hair, but you mad, okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take her lower than the shoulder. All right, so that is where we're gonna start her cut. Let's go to the shampoo bowl in the back here. Let's go over to the shampoo bowl. Let me bring this down just a little bit. Took back just a little bit, mama. Okay. She said, oh goody, we get to see a haircut this morning. <laughs> Don't forget, you guys, chin down, come all the way down. That today or tomorrow is the final day of our customer appreciation sale where everything is 50% off. No code is needed. And then all of our clip ins, tape ins, and baby tapes are 15% off. 
um, you use code CLIPPIN and you can actually use that during the 50% um, off sale because the 50% off does not apply to the clip-ins. And then it also is the same for our Crystal W site with our soaps and body butters and all that stuff. All right, you guys, so let me turn you guys down so you can see what's happening here. So I'm just saturating her hair. All right, so our first shampoo is going to be our Elite. So we're going to do a scalp treatment and I'm going to go through with the Soothe and Balance pre-treatment. So we're going to take our Soothe and Balance pre-treatment and before we apply it, we're going to just go through and lift up any buildup. Now this can also be done, of course, when the hair is dry. Once you lift up the buildup, that's when you want to drop your Soothe and Balance in there and just go section by section and do the same thing. So if you guys notice, I'm not taking my teeth and going like this. I'm lifting up the buildup. It can go into the hair because that will flake off or rinse off. But if you don't get it off the scalp, it's going to stay right where you left it. You can never shampoo enough and get it off. Let me know if the water starts dripping your face. Okay. So if you guys notice, I'm kind of going in the direction that the hair grows, like an orange.
scalp feel effect. Yeah. Just start feeling like, ooh, that's nice. Oh yeah, I feel it. A little tingle. I know this has to be itchy. It, it is. It's a headache. Do you use the soothing balance at home? No, but I'm going to start with You should. <laughs> Once you get it under control, mm -hmm. you'll see a huge difference. Okay. So exactly what you see me doing now where I'm going through. You can do this when the hair is dry before you wash. Mm -hmm. Go through and just part section by section. Okay. You lift it up with the comb. Mm -hmm. And then you apply the Soothe and Balance once you lift up the, the dandruff. Mm -hmm. And that's how you get it to and get to the scalp. Yeah. Soothe and Balance. Soothe and Balance, yeah. So we're almost done, you guys. Okay. Her scalp's supposed to be going chicken, 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 chicken. That's amazing. <laughs> so what I'm doing now is just really getting that soothing balance into the scalp. I know that I've basically lifted up all of the dandruff that's there, getting that blood flowing. She's probably tingling and cool right now. I'm not sure if we'll have one for Valentine's Day. Probably. 
I know on the Crystal W site we will. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and use our Control It along with some Moist Repair Shampoo along with a little bit of the Low Porosity Plus Shampoo. This is the final shampoo, you guys. Just make sure you get that inside and everywhere around the head. And then I'm gonna take our scalp agitator really get in there especially in the back right behind the ear where dandruff likes to hide her blood's supposed to be going fresh to right to her head right now and then let's get all right here in this crown area. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and rinse her and condition her. Do I cut men's hair? No, not really. I can, but I don't. No, Grace is out and about today. But she's not on the live today. I'm sure the trolls are having a field day, but it is what it is. No, my purple client, she's under the dryer right now. Hi, Magdala, welcome. Can someone do me a favor and type in these words? Customer appreciation sale, 50% off, Elite Hair Care and Crystal W. And then I'll pin it. No code D. All right. Scout feel better? Yes. Mm -hmm. So customer appreciation sale. 50% off everything. Crystal W Elite Hair Care and Elite Hair Care USA. No code needed. Sit up for me. So all I'm doing is just going through, making sure that her scalp is clean before I put her conditioner on. She's gonna have dandruff in her hair but that is going to flake off. You have to just make sure that it's not on her scalp. That is where you want to make sure that it's not. Thank you, Crystal. All right, so let's go ahead and add some Mend It Mask. And then I'm also gonna add some of the low porosity plus mask.
Now I'm going to detangle her. So I'm rope twisting her so it doesn't retangle as I go through because she's not going to go under the dryer but I want to make sure that I detangle her really well especially because she's getting a haircut. Water's gonna be cool. Can I see that scalp? Clean. 
clean and refreshed. All right, so let's put on a little bit of Hydra Strength Leave-In Spray. And then we're gonna go ahead and rope twist her so that she can go under the dryer. She's getting a middle part, so I'm just gonna give like a rough middle part for now. And now that I've already detangled her, her detangle is real easy. Have you ever thought of making a video to allow us to know which products we need to buy in addition to what you've already bought? Well, I mean, that's what these lives are for because a lot of times it goes by situation and sometimes you can resonate with the situation that the client might be experiencing and it might be the same thing as what you're experiencing. So that's the video. Go ahead and go to the dryer. Ooh. All right, guys, let's go to the front. I'm sweating because it's hot. Marie, you can sit in my chair. Here, you can just sit here. All right, you guys, let me set you guys up here. Let me get my broom. Clean up my little space here.
All right. That purple is banging. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of frizz control on her hair. What do you guys think about that purple? It's beautiful. Especially on her gray in the front. That's what you really see it. <laughs> products do you recommend for traction alopecia our edge restoration kit which comes with the b7 serum and also the edge restoration cream and the brush they said they love 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 your purple mm, i think i like it too <laughs>
Thank you, um, Diane. Hello? Hello? Your lashes are on point. Thank you. Strips. if you guys remember but remember I had a last collection
The bottom, you mean? Red bottom. Um, I took mines where I had him put a, a covering, a coating on mine. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like a red um, material over it. Mm -hmm. It's um, 1792 and Lake Howell. Okay. So it's just type in shoe cobbler, 1792 Winter Park. Okay. It's right next to um, Jeremiah's Ice. Or you can type in Jeremiah Ice. Uh -huh. um, Winter Park. Okay. He's in the same plaza. Okay. And I dropped them off to him this week and picked them up about a week later. Really? Yeah, and it was like a couple dollars. It wasn't even like a hundred dollars. Not even a hundred dollars. And they look good? Yeah, because he put um, a red thing over the box. Mines were new. Right. So he put like this red material over it so right. that it wouldn't scuff them. Right. And it looked it 100%. Oh. Yeah, he did it. Never wore the damn shoes because they hurt. Oh, damn. I got the hot chicks. I got the the cakes, girl. I wanted that's those are the ones I wanted, but um, the so cakes. No oh, ma'am. So cakes. The so the cakes. Baby. So burn. I, I wore them for three minutes. Let me tell you something. I tried them on in the store, and I could, I could mm -hmm. not. You walk in on your toes. I wanted them so bad that I, I bought them to. anyway. But there's a place in New York that it's the heel. They will cut the heel so that it sits flat, not like your foot is like this. Yeah, not like your balance. But no one else will do it. There's only a place in New York that will do it to the so case. I want those are the ones that I wanted so bad, but we was in Hawaii and I went there. I tried them on at the store because it yeah. be, And I was like, what? I was up to a, a, I wore a nine. I was up to like 10 and a half. And that it don't was matter. still. And, it's, and you, the guy was like, no. He said, everybody thinks they want those until they try them on. Um, listen, I have worn the shoes no more than 10 minutes since I've owned them. And I've had those shoes for about four years. The bottom is so pristine. The heel don't even have a rub on it. That's how much I don't wear that shoe. I wear the sneakers more than the actual Sam heels. the sneakers. Which sneakers you got? Mine were the black shorts. with the rhinestones. They're low. Oh. And they're, um, they have glitter on them, black glitter, and then silver stones on the back. Okay. And those are probably the most that I've worn. Same thing with the Chanel ones. I got Chanel sneakers. Their sneakers are narrow around your ankle. Mm. So if you have fat ankles, I wouldn't wear Chanel sneakers either. I think they the burn my ankles. Is, um, the shark bottle. Let's see. I think we get those. Girl, I won't buy another. I want the heels so bad, but it's okay to have rubbed me the wrong way. <laughs> I'm so scared mm -hmm. to go buy another pair. Unless I'm going to that cobbler in New York, I'm not buying another pair of so I cake. wore the hot chicks to a wedding, and I wore them, I think the church ones. Well, they said some of them and are nice. Those, the first time I wore them, I'm like, oh my gosh. But then I was fine at the, I really was fine at the wedding, and then when I wore them the third time. 
They say you have to break them in. But so baby. like I put socks on with my so case to stretch them out. That is so nothing. Them so case. I knew I could do nothing with those. I, and I was in the store. I didn't even buy them. I, I was in the store. I knew I would it. not be able to do those. I put socks I want them on. So bad. I put the socks on and walked around in them, and I I put on double socks so it would stretch. Mm-hmm. No ma'am. Even then, yeah, it it was it was a no for me, and I never put them back on again. The dude was like, Mm-mm. he said no. He said everybody thinks they want the silk cakes until they get them because the silk cakes is what the celebrities wear. Yes, they don't yes. wear most of the other ones. But honey, I will never buy another silk cake. I'm nothing. Just like, you have got to be kidding me. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I wouldn't wish those on my enemy. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to put a little bit of elite control on her hairline. We're talking about these so cake red bottoms. I wouldn't wish them on my enemy to wear those shoes. You hear me? No, no. And Brian Atwood shoes, too, would never wear his again either. I wore his to Future Concert and almost died standing in them. There's no reason why a pair of luxury shoes should hurt that bad. Not for what you pay for them. Mm -mm. They should never hurt that bad. (laughs) Take them to the guy. He's the only one that would do it for me. And he did it really well. And that's all he does. He's a cobbler. Older white guys, you can tell he's been there a long time, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, he does a lot. And when I took him to him, he knew exactly what I wanted. When I told him I wanted to cut the heel, he's like, listen, these shoes, you're not supposed to cut the heel. Mm-hmm. Because the boning in the heel is like a smidget. Mm-hmm. But the place in New York, I can't remember their name. They do it, but you have to bring it to them. You can't right, 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 right. So you have to go, and at the beginning of your trip, you give it to them, and then you get it back. Like, you are standing on your soul. Right. Not even and your you whole soul is in the shape. So, and then my, I have wide, flat feet. Ooh, ooh, they burn so bad. I could not. I couldn't even get out of the store. I couldn't walk three steps in the shoe. They have this video of this lady in these red bottoms trying to walk into the red, into the loop. So I said, I put going like this. Mm-hmm. I said, oh, okay. And I like you. I'm a heel I love heels. Heel you know, wearer. short people love heels. Right. I, I'm definitely a heel wearer, but baby, I can't do nothing with some cakes. Mm-hmm. And I went to buy the soap cakes. Yeah, you're going to learn real fast okay, so not to play with those soap cakes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, you guys. So I'm just going to make her hair slightly hard.
Gemstones. Oh, we might have to do this one again. I know. <laughs> the purple is banging. <laughs> Dresses, they no ma'am. Come in there if you want. No, we can make it a new color. We can. Oh, really? Oh, the, no, like a purple or a pink. Or, mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. Mean, that's different. Okay. Hi, my dear. I'll see you in your next appointment. I think you booked like eighty-nine of them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's see if this one lasts longer because I made it hard this time. So that's good. I just let's see. I have to travel again this week, so this this will work. All right, all right. Be safe, everybody. Have a good day. You. Thank you. Yeah, the boys' hair can't be below their collar. Oh, so they have to. The boys cannot have facial hair. Really? Really? Yeah. I mean, you never still have their thing, I guess. So. Kristen, he has braids, but they don't say anything about his hair. They can have dreads on it. So the boys, you know, they don't want run to run into the wrist like that private tool that was in Apostle with the little boy with the dress. They don't want that. So I, um, I know being in a meeting about a young man that has dreads. They just try to figure out what to do. <laughs> you couldn't tell him that because it could be religious. So, there can be so many so different now, things. So the rule is you can have them, but they can't go below your collar. So they got to put them up. So that's the rule for all the boys. Basically, they have to yeah. have it in a style. Because like if you let a kid have dreads below the collar, then you got to let the lacrosse kids have they flow below their collar. You got to have it. You got the rules got to apply to everybody. Yeah. And, so, and then so once the boys had to like cut their locks or their braids, they decided okay. they didn't want them. I know some for religious reason, reasons. They are like a Rasta, which is religious. So this is the thing about a private school. When you sign the contract, well, it you says agree it. to what the rules are that private at school. that school. Wow. So if the school doesn't mesh with your, you know, family values or ethnic or, or uh, values, then that's not the school for you. But even with the, um, you can't discriminate against race, religion, creed kind of thing. So this is the thing. If it's a policy in the uh, because it's not public, you don't have to go there. You choose to oh, go there and yeah. pay twenty three thousand dollars. Yeah, you right. Public schools cannot, you know, but it, it's uh, but private schools in their charter, if they want to have uniforms and make everybody wear the same uniform, yeah, you can do that, right? Yeah, yeah, and so they treat it like uh, they treat it the same way with hair. Like I said, you can have locks and you can have braids, mm -hmm. but if you're a boy, if you're a girl, you can have them down to your butt. But if you're a boy, you cannot have them past the top of your collar, shirt collar. So girls can't have highlights of different colors? The color thing has to be natural hair color. Oh. So girls are not supposed to have, uh, you know, like some of the girls wanted to have like a time when they were doing pink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. So what about red? Because no red holy grows. jeans. No, they will send you home if you show up with holy jeans. On certain days, you yeah, can orange. wear jeans. Orange was like that too with the jeans. They can't have holes in them. Yeah, you're not allowed to have the holes. They can wear. They used to make it where only high schoolers could wear jeans, mm -hmm. and then the middle schoolers had to wear um, brown or black khakis. Mm -hmm. Now everybody can wear jeans. They can't have holes. 
So only one day a week can the kids wear jeans. Oh, they have to wear khakis too? Yes, they have a, you know, they could, I think certain colors. Don't they colors. have the skirts too? <coughs> yeah, Dennis, I think it's Dennis or Lansing. Mm-hmm. You know they take all, Dennis get everybody's money. Yeah. Yeah. They're $90 skirts. Yeah, and it's only certain colors. Mm-hmm. Trinity was like that. But on Fridays, they could wear jeans, not jean cut off shorts, but they could wear jeans, um, and they could wear a Lake Highland Spirit Day shirt. So Orangewood is... And their outerwear has to be Lake Highland outerwear. So at Orangewood, it's as long as you can wear jeans every day, but you can only wear Orangewood Spirit wear as your top. Mm-hmm. No sweatpants. Oh, you can wear jeans every day? day? Yeah. All the way up from yeah, they can wear jeans every day. It oh, that's nice. Middle school couldn't do that. Now, do they oh, have the jeans have to come from Dennis? No. Or can they be any jeans? Any Gap jeans. Or, oh, that, as that's long nice. as they don't have any um, no holes, holes or tears. That's nice. That's and nice. they have to be on their waist. That's more economical. Mm-hmm. If they wear shorts, the you shorts have to have belt You can get them on sale. And that's the other thing. You can buy what fits your child well. Right, because Dennis doesn't fit her. No. Body. A lot of the girls, they just, the, Dennis doesn't fit them well. Later. Um, they have to wear any type of shirt they wear. It has to have orange wood on it. Mm-hmm. Um, they're trying to do the same thing with the outerwear now, like when it's cold. Mm-hmm. But you're allowed to wear. You can wear outerwear, but it can't have any logo over two inches. Okay. So, like, if it's like a little Lacoste sweater mm-hmm. or something, they can wear it mm-hmm. because it just has that little alligator on it. Mm-hmm. But like, if it's a Gap, you can't wear it. Mm-hmm. Um. They can wear Crocs. They can wear sandals nice and socks. You can, you can buy jeans, though, because that way you can get them when they go on sale. And yeah, you can wear Dennis's. Is no skirts. Expensive. They're not allowed to wear skirts at all. Oh, girl, that's where we're Hold going. Hold your ears to That is where we're going. Because them skirts, you should see them skirts. No, you should see them after school in these little shorts from their sports things. Oh, my God. No, them skirts, girl. It's just ass. No, it's Listen, just when girls walk around showing their ass. I went to the basketball game last night to watch Alex perform. You can let go. Just ass. That's all. And they had on sweatshirts with shorts, but the sweatshirts cover the yep. shorts. So they look like walking around. Here. I'm like, yep. wait. Yep. yep. Yeah, I, know. I know. I'm like, oh, okay. I know. I know. I know. I know. And I'm talking, they just making it like it's just nothing. I know. I know. I know. Like it's the just... boys, they started doing length checks on the boys because their shorts started getting yep. shorter and shorter. Yep. Yeah. So now when the boys wear shorts, it has to yeah. be shorts that has um belt loops. That's how they got them and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And they'll do um the girls told me they said they'll come to they'll come into the classroom at any given point and make everybody stand up and do checks. Yep. yep. And give out the merits and call parents. Yep. If they make yep. a change. Yep. 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 They, they do a lot. But yeah. they're, they're, they're it, very it, forgiving with the like the jackets they they, they go they talk about it, but like if they see you constantly do it, then they'll call you and say, yeah. I can't do that. We gotta, we gotta just get rid of skirts. It's yeah, there's no skirts set orange wood. You know what else wears skirts set It's just a shade. It's a shade. I look at some of them girls, younger, like freshmen and sophomores. They ain't mm-hmm. driving, so their parents is bringing up. Now, there ain't no way in the world. My mom would have. First of all, she never would have paid to mm-hmm. have somebody alter my skirt that damn short. You and know, she most of these kids, they tell their parents what they're doing. Girl, uh-uh, uh-uh. It's just, no. Mm, don't make no sense. I had a young girl one time, she was sending naked pictures to the boy. Oh, they do that all the One girl, she got um a group of boys that expelled because of that. So. Sending them on Snapchat. And the thing is, in this particular situation, the boys weren't asking for them. Yeah, she was the same thing with her, but they, just them. Them. they expelled the boys because they saved the pictures. And then they, she ended up having to go to an institution because she was having other problems. So we, I really wanted to get in front of it because I didn't want that to happen to the boys. Uh, because, again, they didn't ask her to send them. She was mm-hmm. just sending them out. So I brought the boys in, and while the boys were with me, individually, and each one of them, while they were in the room, I called their parent. I asked them, I said, who do you want me to call, mom or dad? And <laughs> damn, they're all of them said dad. Because <laughs> the man will understand more. The mom will look at it in a sense. So I called dad. I explained what was going on. I said, when he gets home, I need you to look at his phone and make sure it's off his phone 
because I've explained to him what the laws are regarding child pornography. You know they called the police. Maitland police had come because they were charged. They were going to charge people. So see, we was trying to. I was trying to get around. No, nope, they. All, she said the moment they found out nope. that they were required. We do things a little bit. We do things a little bit differently, and we have a really good school attorney uh, that comes and talks to the kids twice a year about stuff like that. So I think they pretty much all got it. But this was I want to say maybe six, seven years ago when this first kind of started happening. And that's when we started bringing her in to talk to the kids about child pornography laws in the state of Florida, what that means. It doesn't matter if you didn't ask for it or not. If mm, you send you it, it, if you send it, then you are distributing pornography. You know? And that's what one of the little boys did, and they expelled him. Mm-hmm. And then it's so funny because I went to the school basketball game yesterday, and he ended up getting enrolled in um, Lake Mary Prep. Mm-hmm. And he's playing basketball. Everybody's looking like, that's such and such. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, who's that? She's like, Mom, that was a dude with the, with the porn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was so surprised that Lake Mary even took him. Right. They, you know. Mm-hmm. First of all, when you're a kid that age, there are a lot. Of, that's why we try to educate our kids. Because mm-hmm. a lot of them didn't understand. They thought it was just fun Yeah, and yeah, yeah. They didn't understand. So, you know, now, if I talk to you or if the dean talks to you and it happens again, yeah, it's done. But if it's your first offense, and in this particular situation, the boys look at me and said, Mr., we asked for her. We asked for some pictures. We, we don't, I mean, they, it's like, what? And I asked her, I said, why did you send them? And she said, well, I'm proud of my body. I like my body. I said, do you know them? No, not really, but I, I, she got other things going on. So then I had to call her mother, and, um, yeah, I said, this little girl is so confused. No, she got, she got it all happening. wrong. She got it all wrong. But uh, I said, no, we're not going to call people on these boys. We're going to give them some grace. We're going to show them some grace here, because um, they're all minors. But, and I like for parents. Certain things parents need to handle. Certain things parents need to I don't wanna, I'm not one of those advocates just calling the police on the kids all the time and just mm-hmm. them. no, let me let me see what's going on. Let me see what's going on here. And let me cuz parents can't be everywhere. Mm-mm. Parents can't be everywhere. And kids are on top of everything. I was a kid. It's like like we don't like yeah. we know how this works. It takes a village. So let me get the parents involved and together get this kid. First of all, educate this kid so they understand what's going on. Now, if they continue, <laughs> Miss mm-hmm. Stewart don't keep showing great. If they continue doing stuff. Do you uh, guys um have the, the random drug test policy? Yes. Where you guys use like a company and they just yes. they pull the names? Yes. yes. They do the same yes. thing. There. Yeah, we recently had a senior that had to go. Oh, they had ninth graders. One was selling drugs at school. Yeah, we don't. And I'm talking, they were brave too because there's no locks allowed on lockers. Yeah. So the lockers are all open. Yeah. You keeping it in your locker like yeah. it's nothing. Now there's no grace for that kind of situation. No, he got expelled, there's, and they yeah. ended up putting him in. Pri- they actually ex- expelled him, and all his siblings had to go with him. Yeah. There's no grace for those things. Like you get, you get 90 days if you test positive. Hold on. I like the random drug testing. Though. Yeah, if you test positive, the and, and at our school, no, there's only one person that handles that, so they'll talk to the family. You have 90 days. You're gonna get tested again in 90 days. Yeah, I don't know their rules. If at you're all. positive at, again in 90 days, it's done. It's a wrap. It's done. Your your parents are called in. You're called in, and you leave that day. You turn in all your stuff, and that's. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I think because he was selling, what was the problem? Now that's different. 
that is done and one and done right then. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about the universal drug testing that we do. Yeah, I like the drug testing. The selling thing, no. That you one and done, and depending on where you are selling, who finds out. Um, mm-hmm. Orlando PD might be might might be <laughs> that mm-hmm. there is no no tolerance for that at all. None. Absolutely none. None. All right, you guys. I am curling her now. We've already done her trim, as you guys could clearly tell. Um, hi, everyone. I know you guys are saying hi and having your conversations. So am I. Still a regular day in the salon. You guys are just working with me. What time is it? Oh, okay. Like, I know I have one more appointment. So how do you feel about the, uh, that, you think, that, how long has your school been doing it? The, well, we've only been there three years. Okay. Gosh, we've been doing it a long time. I don't know how long. We've been doing it a long time. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they have, but we've only been there three years, so. Oh, okay. I don't know how long. And your oldest been is 16. 16. In high school. Yeah, she started in the eighth grade. Yeah. A ninth grade this year? She's a tenth grade. Wow, bad times passing. Mm-hmm. Fast. Alex is a freshman. Wow. And then Christian, he's in the fourth grade. She played basketball? Which one? Uh, um, no, neither one of them played basketball. Alex is swim. Alex is ninth grade? Yeah, she's in swim team. And, and who's in 10th grade? Adriana. Adriana. Adriana is a, she's a cheerleader. Well, she was JV cheer captain. Okay. Now she's on varsity. Okay. And then she, she does the plays as okay. well and then she wants to do softball but softball is in between this play that she got casted for uh-huh. so she can't do softball this year. Okay. and then Alex she does swim, dance and she's the, she's a um, stage manager for some of the plays now and an assistant stage manager okay. she's a thespian now. <laughs> she's a great. senior thespian now she's getting inducted as a senior thespian oh that's awesome yeah she wants to and then Christian, he plays flag football for him. Okay. Well, you could get into it. Yep. You're doing your thing. Constantly doing I saw you all went to Greece. No, I went to Austria. Austria. Did the kids like it? They loved it. It was for chorus, actually. Okay. For the girls? Mm-hmm. So this next year, we're, they said that we're going to Italy. Last year it was Ireland, but the girls didn't go to Ireland because their DC trip was right at the same like uh-huh. next week, and I wasn't doing both. Uh-huh. Them trips add up, don't they? Uh, yeah. I love the fact that they get exposure to that kind of stuff. Uh-huh. So like right now they're asking for students to do a mission trip in the summer. Yeah. So Adriana wants to possibly do it. I'm like, I'll let you know, <laughs> because if you go, I'm going. <laughs> so let me just think about this. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's like Acapulco or something like that. Yeah, those trips, they do a lot of stuff, but they add up. Mm-hmm. They do extravagant stuff. I mean, private school is different. When I tell my friends that they're going, they're like, what school they come to? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, they do, this all, they do this a lot. You're right about the exposure. Me. Yeah, they get to see things before they graduate. So mm-hmm. like the seniors in junior year, they determine what they want to, where they want to go for senior year. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So right now they're like, first they said Hawaii, and the school was like, no, mm-hmm. because the travel time alone you well, don't have true. much. Yeah, that's true. Then they said um, New York. They're like, they're tired of New York. They did skiing last year in Colorado. Did they ever do a cruise? They asked seniors? about the cruise, but they haven't said much about the cruise yet. They said Mexico too. They would just have to have their passports. Mm-hmm. I don't know. The cruise is nice because everything is included. The food and all of that stuff. But I think it's because they have to be responsible for children on a boat. Uh, on yeah. water. Yeah. That's a little different. Yeah. 
a lot of our kids go like up to North Carolina. There's yeah, some they try to do something that they can fly and control. Yeah. They mm-hmm. have more control. Yep. So I know they did Colorado for um. It was a, I think it was Aspen. That so, sounds like a fun trip. Well, they said they didn't enjoy it. So. Oh, really? I don't know. That was the seniors, though. I don't know. I don't know. This is I would enjoy it. Mm-hmm. You know, when the, when the school does it, like when we went to Austria, you know how many staff members went on that trip? I'm like, a lot. Yeah, and I think the school paid for all of them to go. So. I feel like it was more parents than, than students on the trip. Parents and staff. But some some students, their whole family came, mm-hmm. and they would go early. Like some of them went early. Well, so yeah, I guess you can spend that kind of money, make a little family trip out of it. Yeah, that. yeah. And that's a long way to send your kids if you ain't there. So, uh, listen, it was on like two kids that their parent wasn't there. Everybody yeah. else, they, they were there. Yeah. I was there, and I wasn't even on the excursion with them. I was just there. Mm-hmm. I don't trust people. I'm sorry. Man. What? This day and age, honey. And I'm no. not sending my child to a foreign What's country. What, what, does the clock talk to you on the phone? No, no. No, 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 no. no. I, I need to be within arm's reach. Yep. Oh, man. I don't even send them in the United States by themselves. The last time I took a trip with kids, I took them to, I took them to the People of Color Conference in, in Nashville. And I, we went, I only had like seven kids. It was me and Rush. Yeah. So I'll take your time. Go down, sorry. Mm-hmm. Go down here, mm-hmm. leave this door open, and it's the first door on the right. Okay. And we went, or we went a day early um, because I wanted them to see the show at Vanderbilt and Belmont mm-hmm. colleges. And then the next day, the conference started. It's a student development leadership conference I took them to. And look, going from Orlando to Nashville, that's, that's enough for me. That was enough? That was enough. Listen, I cannot take school trips. <laughs> no. You know, making sure they get to the airport on time. Kids. And, you know. That's why I don't ever go on the bus and all that stuff. I'm just not one of those people. I like to check in and out when I'm ready. If I don't want to be involved, I don't have to be. I did that in D.C. I did that on every single trip. They know that Chris was not getting on that bus with you. <laughs> I'm there, but I am not in the bus with you. And I'm not going on anything else. You can't force me to go anywhere. I don't have to get up at 6 a.m. If I chose that today was the day that I'm not going, today is the day that I said I'm not going and I'm done. <laughs> My kids already know. I think they like it, though, because they, they use my money. They come, Mom, can we get money to go to do this? Well, also, it's a comfort zone because they know you're there if something mm-hmm. happens. Like, you're, you're uh, accessible. You can they get to them. They know that they can come right, yep. right where I'm at. Yep. Or I can come right, because I always rent a car, too. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even in Austria, I was driving. Everybody's like, oh, my gosh, you're driving out here? I'm like, if you can drive in Jamaica, you can drive anywhere. <laughs> I'm a trooper. Yeah, I don't think I could drive in Jamaica. I'm driving wherever I'm I am not. I've never driven in the islands. I always... I drove in Curacao. But Curacao, they drive on the same side. Austria, they drive on the same side. It's the same same driving. It's just you got to know where you're going. I don't drive that well here. So I better just... I'm doing the right thing. Mm. I, love, I love my freedom of knowing I can jump in this car at any moment figure it out my car sat parked for four days last week i wow. walk every day how long is the walk not two minutes it's, i mean i really it's i just cut through the student lot oh okay. <laughs> i really it's okay. i cut through the student lot across the street and there's our facilities building and then i walk down a little bit and there's the baseball field i cut through the student lot and i'm there i would say Probably less than 10 minutes. I, don't, I only get to listen to a little bit of my podcast. That's actually really good. He said no fibers, right? No fibers. No. And, and uh, yeah, I know it's thinning up there, but I don't want any fibers. That's fine. 
you don't have to, if you don't want to. Katrina's done that. Okay. I know I needed that, man. I oh, really needed bad. that shroom. I really needed that shroom. When you came back to work, I just was so busy. I couldn't, and then you were only here a certain number of days, and I couldn't get the mm -hmm. right appointment. So I just went on one day, and I saw Saturday. Crap, felt like well, I yeah, I just started Saturday in January. Oh, I felt like I hit the lottery, Crystal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's Saturday. Starting this month, that's how. Oh. I didn't have any in D December and November. I needed to make sure that I could manage the Saturdays. Oh, I felt like I hit the lottery. <laughs> oh my gosh! Can I have a mirror? Yeah. Thankful I still got hair. <laughs> <laughs> I am, girl. I'm just thankful I still So you just started uh, Saturdays this month. Mm -hmm. So February has Saturdays. So I try to do every other Saturday because I know most of my clients who do Saturday either are working women or educators. So then typically the ones, that's really the reason why I do Saturday anyway. Just because I know not everybody can come on a Thursday or a Friday. All right, you guys, my final client of the day. So we are going to blow her out. Miss Lynn, I will see you soon, okay? Oh, yes. She's going to Thank you. Thank you so much. So I'm going to blow her out. Okay. Well, I'm up the street now, so now it's easy. I know. I'm going to blow her out. This is my client that we're doing the haircut on. She still has a lot of straight hair in the end. Yeah. Trying to get rid of that. You guys remember what I was saying about, you know, when you're taking dandruff off the scalp that it might still be in the hair. This is what I mean because guess what? When I'm blow drying her, anything that's in her hair is going to flake off. So her hair is clean, her scalp is clean. If you don't get that dandruff off the scalp, it is going to stay where it is. It will never flake off. You cannot get it off once the hair is sopping wet. At this point, you'll still be trying to scratch flakes up. So if you do it the way that I do it, you will see a huge difference in your scalp and your hair. Your scalp will love you because it feels you can feel the breeze on that head. I'm sure her scalp is like, ooh, yes, Lord. Hmm. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Except for my hair that don't look like I did it anymore because I'm sweating. I think I'm going to get a week. I'm going to give my hair a break for a week. I might just do another wig. I don't know. I'm a little bored. Or I might just add some tracks to the top and make it longer. If you haven't already thumbs up the live, go ahead and thumbs it up, you guys. Also, as a reminder, the 50% off sale is still going on. Okay. 
So I'm going to put some elite control. Elite control. Some frizz control on her hair so that we can go ahead and press her. And then we will cut her. So I'm using our Smooth by EHC Iron to do her press, which these release mid-February slash March. And I'm doing about three quarter of an inch sections for her press. See how smooth that is? That's why we call it smooth. Thank you for the hearts, you guys. Also, if you guys haven't already joined our Elite Plus text line, if you text the word Elite Pro to 41372, that will add you to our Elite Pro Plus text line. And then, of course, we have our um, Elite Pro Plus membership where you get access to all of our e-classes and master classes, all of our video guides. Like I have two video guides that I'll be dropping this week. Our Elite Pro Plus members don't have to actually pay for those video guides. It's included in their membership that they get access to all eBooks, video guides, master classes, planners, any type of digital content that we have is included in the membership. And it's $19.99 a month. They also get access to ask hair care questions. Um, whenever they feel necessary, they have a question. That platform allows them to ask questions and get an answer from me. Comments on videos, they get answers. Exclusive content, that's what they get over there as well. Um, exclusive Q&A sessions, all that good stuff. And all of that is included in your membership. So we do one to two master classes a month. And those that master classes run about between $39.99 and $59.99 for admission to those classes. They are virtual. But if you are a member of the Elite Pro Plus team, which is your paid membership, those are $19.99 a month. You get access to every master class for free. So you do not pay to watch those master classes or be involved. That's all a part of the Elite Pro Plus membership. Um, if you get a note that it doesn't ship to your address, that's because you tried to type in the address. So what you need to do is, as you are um, putting your address in, type one letter at a time and allow Shopify to pull up your address and then you click on it. If you try to type in the whole address, it's going to tell you that it doesn't ship to your address because you didn't actually pick one of the addresses that Shopify recognized. So how you get around that is just type one letter at a time, one number at a time, and let Shopify pull up that address and then you click on it and then it will ship. It will tell you you're fine. But what I noticed is 
if you try to type in the address yourself and you don't click on the addresses that they have that come up, it's going to tell you that we don't ship to your area. So like I had a person that you might live in Crown Heights, New York, right? But the real address for the post office is New York, New York. I'm just making that up though. So just, I know my New Yorkers are like, that is not what it says. But the real address for the shipping would be 1234 90th Street, New York, New York, blah, blah, blah. Rather than 1234 90th Street, Crown Heights, New York. It doesn't recognize that. So you want to use the address that it recognizes and just make sure that the zip code is also right. Sometimes the city name might be different because that's the postal service rather than, you know, it being something else. So that's how you fix that. If you still have an issue, you can always send us an email. And in the email, um, the subject line is would like to place an order. In the body of the email, put a screenshot of your cart and then also put your um, billing address and we will send you an invoice where we can get the order shipped to you because we can fix it from our end by doing exactly what I'm telling you to do. So we know that that happens, but it's not something that's wrong. It's just because you're not using the Shopify version of your address. I'm making you want a silk press. You selected the address that came up. Are you in the United States? If you are in the US and you're having an issue, like I was saying, send an email to phone support at EliteHearCareUSA.com or you can use info at EliteHearCareUSA.com um, with a screenshot of your cart and your billing address and phone, billing address and full name and then we can just send you an invoice so you don't miss out on the 50% off sale. Will there be a customer appreciation sale on the EU site? So we do not control our distributor sales. They, are, they can choose to have a sale if they want to or not. So if Olive decides to have a sale, then you can you know, shop her site. We do encourage you to shop our EU site because you get it a lot faster. Shipping is a lot less. Oh, you're in Brazil. So that's a little bit different. Brazil might not be one of the places that we can ship to, which I don't recall us having a Brazil um, shipping plan on there. Now, if you have a freight forwarder, then you can shop, but it's a little different. So your hair is shiny. <laughs> Thank you. Remember, we're still going to cut her, you guys, so. That's me. I put the chair down too low.
I've been waiting for the delicate body butter and oil to be back in stock. Love them. Our delicate's not available, but we have our Jamaican turmeric. We also have the blueberry. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and cut her, you guys. Um, thinking if I want to use the scissors or that. So you want it to here on your shoulder. You want layering or blunt? Blunt. Well, she made it real simple, y'all. <laughs> She's like blunt. Okay. Say less. She left it as far down as you can. All right. So she's doing a blunt cut. So what I'm gonna do now is just go through and this under area here. 
just gonna clean that up. Blunt Bob. Alright, so we're gonna use a little bit of goddess polish. And then we're just gonna go through and just give her a quick bump. What do you guys think so far? Real easy. Blunt bob, blunt bob, A. Hey. Very nice, thank you. They said it's very nice. My clients like to get compliments, you know. Compliment them. That means that the world says it's cute, so now they're gonna say, ooh, it's cute. You know we're our worst critic. Yeah. It takes somebody to say, oh my gosh, girl, that is so cute. And your mind was like, I thought that was so ugly. <laughs> okay. Okay, so maybe it is cute. Mimi, you got three bottles of goddess polish under your sink. <laughs> You're like, listen, I'm out of control.
что это за Her bob is bobbing, you can see her bobbing. It's beautiful. Thank you. It's bobbing, honey. It's bobbing. Really is. Her bob is bobbing. Chill down for me. Make sure I got everything on your neck here. How's that bob, guys? How's that bob? Is it bobbing? It is definitely bobbing. He said it's a cute blunt cut. Oh, thank you. Right, my dear. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. Alright, you guys, so I'm just sweeping up. Getting the salon cleaned up to get reset because I'm not back here again until Thursday. So we're just going to get clean. It's a couple products that I need to get.
right, so let me close up. And I'm gonna let you guys head on to enjoy the rest of your day. I'm gonna clean off my chair really quick. This is garbage, I need to stop and get that. Garbage, garbage. Thank you guys. You guys have a good rest of your day as well. I'm just putting stuff away. So I'm actually done for the day. I'm going to clean my chair off. A little bit of alcohol. Get any oils off the chair. here. I hope everybody has a good weekend. Elite Hair by Crystal is officially off until Thursday. It feels so good to be in your own space. Mm -hmm. I have no problems being in my own space. I've always had my own space, so this is kind of normal. I love working by myself. Anyway, you guys, like I said, don't forget to go and shop our 50% off customer appreciation sale. It is available on both Crystal W online and also EliteHairCareUSA.com. Um, and then, of course, if you have not already joined the Elite Pro team, you can do so by one of two things well one of three things actually you have to do all three not one of three subscribe to our youtube channel that's number one number two text elite pro all one word to 41372 that's number two number three go and join our elite pro plus program by clicking the link in the description box and becoming a part of elite pro plus and that is all three things that you need to do to become a part of our pro team. All right. I will see everybody later. Thank you guys so much for watching and everybody have a good rest of your weekend. Be safe. Bye.